Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. What we got here is um I'm gonna be doing some uh some intake valve exhaust valve adjustments. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you got your intake is point zero one, your exhaust is point zero two six. So when you have the top dead center, see if you can see that or not, TDC right there. So what we got, what we're going to have is top right here. So you'll be able to adjust your intake 1, 2, and 4 your exhaust one three and five then we'll spin we'll spin it all the way around 180 degrees you know we'll put the bottom top dead center down at the bottom and then we'll be able to go and put in uh, adjust intake three five six and then we'll be able to adjust exhaust 246 so pretty easy pretty basic um, looked it up online no big deal anyway uh, yeah so and then to adjust everything you know we got your lock nut and then your allen set screw so you can see those are loose set cylinder one intake and exhaust so two will be intake. So that's this one, the cylinder two intake. And four. One, two, three, four. So that'll be four of intake. And exhaust is one three. So you got your exhaust here. And five. So your exhaust on five so the longer ones are your exhaust the shorter ones are your intake so anyway let me get you guys set up in here and uh, go through and adjust those real quick so get the tripod all set up so hold on all right guys take a 14 millimeter and get all nasty oh, it's all over there Black Pearl. That's why I call it the Black Pearl, man. Everything I touch on this stupid engine. Man. Alright, whatever. Should probably wear gloves. But anyway, I'm going to crack these loose. Stick a box end on there. Crack that one loose. Crack that one loose. I'm just going to crack them all loose. If I can. So you have to come up with your own creative way of cracking them loose. Now, this is going to be a lot easier than if it was in the truck, obviously. Hard to reach over here, man. So, like I said, I'm just gonna crack them all loose. I forgot, I need to get the feeler gauges. So we're going to use, hmm, where are you at? 
ten thousandths. It's right here, the intakes. And what do we got? 0 0.026. Which seems like a lot. Anyway, a lot of these that are bent up that I bent just to get into certain areas. I'd actually recommend the bent, the bent ones so to get into weird tight little areas. So we're going to do a cylinder one is intake that is going to be a pain to get in there so I'm going to take them I'm going to bend it so you just want this I basically crimp it in there and start backing it off. Then you just want it to barely, barely drag tight. Just let it drag in there. Okay, so I'm good right in there. So right there I'm good. So I'm going to go ahead and keep track of where the Allen wrench is. And I'll just lock it down in place. Okay. As you can see. Barely any movement. But we're good. So we're gonna do cylinder one, two, and four. So here's cylinder two. It's all pretty tight in here. So shot jam nuts good. So just backing it off just a little bit. So some mechanics will do it by noise. I know I was watching a video. I don't remember when or where it was, but I was watching a video where the mechanic was just when I was doing my uh, second gen, my 24 valve. He was just going through and making that noise. And he was making that noise, and then he's like, "Oh, a little tighter, a little looser." But anyway, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try to bend this feeler gauge over here in the vise. Oh, and I just broke it. It might work. It might not. So anyway, just move that one out of the way. So I'm going to come in here, same thing, back these ones off. So also what I like to do is just put a paint, a little paint on the ones I've done. If you can, so you know you've done them. So anyway, so same thing, just I tighten it down, make sure that jam nut's free, and I back it off, because they're not hydraulic lifters, they're solid flat tappets, So 
right there, we're good. Lock her down. Okay, again, that's 26.26.026. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go through and do the rest and then uh, put the valve cover on. I'll have to go ahead and spin the motor 180 degrees. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you when I'm all finished. Go through, click them a little bit. I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, guys, that's it. <clears throat> so last. Oops. Man, I got a gimbal, I guess. So these last two I did. So I'm just marking the ends. So we got all these done, all these done. All these, all these. So these are all done. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video guys. Battery's about to die. So, thanks for staying in there with me. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for everything you guys do. I'm losing my breath. <clears throat> so anyway guys, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys give me a like. Click the thumbs up button below. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification down there below. Do what you guys do. Thanks for watching. Later.